The next step is to try to find a, a, a later image that we could compare to this earlier image so that we can kind of begin to visualize how the landscape's changed. Um, and so we're going to basically explore the potential time two layers of this simple kind of time one, time two comparison. And the, you know, so we have to decide like how far into the future do we want to go from, do we want to look at changes in 10 years and 20 years or maybe 25 years? And our main criteria should be that we want to keep the, the season consistent and we want another cloud-free image that we lucked out on um, getting the first time. So we want another springtime image and we have to, and let's look at what our options are. So I'm going to copy this and then go over to the code editor and just paste it in. And so how does 1994 uh, look and work? And so if I say, okay, we're going to use our handy make image function that we defined previously, and it takes a year, 1994. And then I think we said April to June is going to be our um, our spring months, right? And so if I hit run, it should tell me, it should print out over here. It's going to think a little bit, um, but uh, there's the histogram, but there's 1994. So we have two images in here, um, which seems pretty good. So let's let's give a shot and, uh, and draw them. If we say map, add layer, and we're going to say year 1994, and we want to use our false viz just to get a quick peek of it. We'll use our false viz parameters, and I'm going to call this our 1994 false color. And I'm going to, for right now, say go ahead and, and draw it on top so they can quickly see it. And if I hit run, what do we get? It's going to think about it. It's going to draw. There's the first image. And oof, pretty cloudy. And so let's look at this for a second. And if we go over to our console, what you should see is that we have in this image collection, we have two features, meaning we have two images. And if we look at zero, this one, um, and uh, first of all, uh, maybe we should pause and say, well, wait a minute, if I just, if this is an image collection and I asked to look at it, maybe the problem is that I didn't say first. Maybe it's not grabbing the first image in this uh, image collection. So if I try it again, is that, is that, you guys follow that one? When I said year 1994, we had two images in here and I wasn't exactly sure uh, which one I was pulling. And by saying 1994, I'm saying grab the first image in the image collection. And it, this is a pretty nice cloud-free image. My one complaint about it is that it, the palette looks a little slightly different. Um, it's a little bit more electric green than the other one, but it's pretty decent. And you're seeing how much changed in just a 10-year time frame, which is, uh, which is kind of interesting. So that one's not bad. And... Uh, and so let's try another one. What if I said like, this is going to be equal to make image and go for 2004? And I'm going to say same thing, four and six. And then I'm just going to get lazy here and copy that and come down here and paste it in and just say that this is now 2004. Show me the first image, false, and let's update that name and click run. So what is this going to give me? And I'll wait for it. So that's my first image. That's 10 years later. And this one is 20 years later. And there's a big cloud over here. And so let's uh, do something to, um, to make this, uh, to make it where if we have, let's look at this for a second and say, Okay, we've actually got four images here in the image collection. And right now, if I look at these four images, you can see that they are ordered by time. So we're drawing probably this, the first image in this collection is from April 14th, 2004. 
Um, but what we can see if we keep drilling into the properties of this image is that the cloud cover is 12% on this day. And so the question is like, are there any less cloudy images in this image collection? And one way to kind of, to make sure that if you have more than one image that fits your time range, that you are always gonna grab the least cloudy image is to go back and change our function a little bit um, where we have this process going through and I'm going to add before I've, uh, um, sure, it doesn't matter. I can do it at the very end. So after I've applied the scaling uh, factors, I'm going to apply a sort and I want to sort these images based on, if I go into any one of these, if I go into the properties, they're going to have a category called cloud cover land. And in this case, since we're looking at changes in the land and less than the water, I'm just going to bias it by saying, show me, well, no, why don't I just say cloud cover, period. Say, give me the one with the least amount of cloud cover. So I'm going to sort, which is a method of an image collection right here. And there is the description of it. You're sorting by property ascending. So if I say sort, by quote, cloud cover, which is the name of that property, and then true, meaning ascending, um, and hit run, what happens? So this will click through, think about it, and then hopefully start delivering me some results. So there's one, there's two, and then there's three, same image. So what happened was that my, of these, four images, if I have these features, they are, um, are they still, so they're no longer in chronological order. It goes April, June, May, June. Um, but it turns out that that earliest image is still our least cloudy image. Is that fair? So we've sorted it and we've grabbed the least cloudy image in, in this run. It's just that there isn't a good clear a cloud free image from spring 2004 so for that reason i'm just going to kind of stop looking at that one and i'm going to try this last one it's equal to make image 2009 four and six and run that uh and then let's just go ahead and uh also be able to display it 2009 we're going to grab the first the false viz it's 2009 and we're going to say show it to me please and uh hit run so what does this gain us and it's thinking about it so there's our first image there's our second image it's, there's our third image and i'm um of these three, I think I'm going to go with this third one. Is that fair? Because we have, uh, I feel like it, um, I feel like there's not a lot of, not a lot of cloud on it. And I think it's for some reason, it matches a little bit better. Um, and it's kind of interesting to look at 25 years of change. Maybe it doesn't match that great, but I feel like that's a pretty good image to be able to compare. So I think I'm going to go with it and let me just, uh, let me just hit, uh, yeah. So I think I'm going to go with that one and, uh, is that fair? So I'm going to decide to go with the 2009, even though 2004 looked pretty good. And, uh, and then I'm going to hit save and, uh, and move on.